And how did you feel? I mean, that's obviously one part of the story, but how did you feel personally about it when it's you get funny, that you, news? It's funny, you go into... I mean, obviously, I, I sobbed. When I first heard it, I sobbed and I panicked and I started to shake. And then you go into stoic mode. Yeah. And you yes. think, right, OK, yeah. I have breast cancer. What do we do about this? We have to have a mastectomy. OK, I'm given the choice of double mastectomy. OK, let's have the double, let's mm -hmm. get it all done. And within a week, I'd gone from not knowing I had breast cancer to, on the Friday, I was in with the plastic surgeon looking at, you know, fake boobs. And they're going, mm. which one would you like? <laughs> and, you, you know, you, you yeah. actually, you laugh because you yes, think, this is yes. so surreal. surreal. Yeah. Was that the hardest part for you? No, that was the, the fun part, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you have to choose nipples as well? No, I actually didn't go down the nipple okay. route, as it were. Um, you can have reconstructive nipples, but, um, but I decided not to. Yeah. Because I, I have a loving partner. I think if you're... Probably if you're single, then you probably would want mm -hmm. them to look normal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in fact, after you've had the reconstruction, they're, they're as hard as coconuts. Yes, yeah. Sorry to any guys in the audience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're, like, they're like coconuts. And, and I find it very difficult to, to love them. Yes. And my friend said to me, why don't you give them a name and then you might love them more. Uh -huh. So I said, but they're like coconuts. And she said, well, why don't you call them Pina and Colada? <laughs> <laughs> You know, along with the story, because because sadly, one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast mm. cancer, um, so it is a serious number out there. Um, and 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 what was wonderful was you were able to to diagnose it at the early stage, and you were given a choice to have a mastectomy, or or was was that sort of it had to be done? No, the mastectomy is is the first thing that they do, and I was surprised by that because yes. I I thought not not being very aware of breast cancer, mm. I I thought that the, the first thing you'd do was have chemo or radiotherapy or whatever. And that wasn't... No, the, the, they say, you know, for me, it was, right, it's, it's surgery, we get yes, rid of it. It was tiny, right. absolutely yes. tiny. Oh, okay. And because yeah. of the type of breast cancer it was, it was mm. lobular breast cancer, right. it's the one that's more likely to appear in the other breast. Oh, I so see. So they then right. give you the choice of having a double mastectomy. Mm. And I just thought, let's just, let's just you do don't it. Want to go that and again, also then yeah. they sort of... I mean, I'm going to say they look the same, but, but, but they don't. And they've, yes. got, they've got a bit wonky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you I you can hold my breasts on television because they're not mine. Because they're not yours. You, but you yeah. lot, you, oh, I can't. Weird. You do. <laughs> Let's all do it. Come on. In fact, Come on, Amy, in the audience. audience. We, should, we should all, we should all be feeling, feeling our breasts. Right. And not, yeah. you know, 